So when most of us were growing up, um, going to medical school meant a huge investment in hard copy textbooks uh, and carrying them around and spending time in the library trying to memorize everything. And that whole world has changed. If you were to go into the library um, in USC School of Medicine Greenville, you would find three hard copies of every textbook that the students use. The first class has been here for five months and none of those books have moved uh, at all. There's not a single broken spine on the books. And the reason um, is that each student, when they come to the medical school now, is handed an iPad and a laptop, and all of their books are loaded on iPads and laptops. It's no longer necessary to memorize anything in order to have more information available to you than anybody could ever possibly remember. And the premium with this generation of physicians is going to be not to memorize everything, but to understand how to find the best information to take care of their individual patient. School of Medicine Greenville, when we built it, we had an unusual opportunity. Um, we had a 100,000 square foot shelled building that had absolutely nothing done to it. And so the entire building, when it was upfit, was designed around a modern curriculum. The key to that um, was small classrooms and high technology. So the building is actually wireless inside and out, has 80 flat screens throughout the building, and despite the fact that it's wireless, has 66 miles of wire connecting all of the information systems in the building particularly to let us get distance education and instantaneous connectivity. So as an example, if you're in the histology lab, you see all of your slides on a flat screen. If you're in the anatomy lab, all of your information to help you with your learning is on a flat screen. And if you're looking at a kidney, when you're in an anatomy lab and you find a tumor and you want to find out what the histology may look like, you actually can pull the histology up from the histology lab into the anatomy lab and be looking at them side by side. It's a fantastic way to get correlation between the different courses in medical school. This generation of medical students with our first class here is fascinating. Um, we've spent probably the last decade working with physicians trying to get them to embrace technology and, uh, and get over being intimidated about how to use um, the devices and so forth. This class of students, they all come with two or three devices when they arrive and we hand them a couple more. So they not only are not intimidated by the devices, they actually can't learn without them. Technology is a wonderful thing if you're a patient. If you think when you walk into the office and sit down with your doctor, they can pull up their laptop and have your complete medical history, not just in their office, but in every office and every hospital you've been, and all of your laboratory data, not just what was ordered last week, but what you've had over the years, and all of your allergies and all of your medications immediately available to them, whether you can remember them or not, and they don't have to ask you for all of those again. How can that not be a good thing for patient care?